All right, hey everybody, RV enthusiasts here. Nice seeing you again. Today, we are working on Maintenance Monday. So join me, watch this episode, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll jump right into it. All right, guys. So, on all across all forums, we're getting this uh, question on these uh, kickstands. It's not one forum; it's across all forums on Facebook. So, I just kind of want to show you guys. This kickstand is on a lot of e-bikes. A lot of e-bikes. It's the same kickstand. If you have a, uh, let's say a sub $2,000 e-bike, this is probably the one you got. Okay. So when you take the kickstand off, <clears throat> trying to balance the bike with my leg while I show you the kickstand. When you take the kickstand off, two things you should check is these two screws here. Make sure those are tight. Um, uh, hay bike and Magicycle has never been like this for me, but I have had a bike that has given me uh, a bit of issues with uh, the screws they use to put this on their bike. But a lot of people are saying my bike stands too straight up and it, it wants to tip over if I'm not on the right hill or it leans way too far this way. Well, tightening these two, tightening these two here don't do anything for you. But if you take this and you turn it around, if you look right here, we have another screw. So if you if you take this off, you don't have to take this off to make this adjustment. All you have to do is get a three. Allen, put it in here now from the back. You'll have to feel for it, or you'd get a smaller number three. And all you got to do is turn this loose. This will be on the bike. And from that point, you can adjust your stand to be much higher, which will tip it over that way. Or if you typically ride in a lot of soily type stuff that leans the bike this way, you want this up higher. But this is a fully adjustable. Um, kickstand fully adjustable kickstand so the first thing I'm gonna do I, I got it undone right so you take it you put it back on it goes in behind and all you gotta do is figure out start your threads now in doing so if you feel if yours comes off, off often, you might want to put a little blue Loctite in there to keep it in in its uh to to keep the bolt from slightly spinning on you. Now, like I said, I've never had a problem with my hay bike or my Magicycle ever, um, but I have had a problem with another bike. I, on these bikes, I've never had this uh, ever even come loose. Now I know, you know, some people say, well, my Magicycle does it or, or my hay bike does it. Okay, then if yours does it often, if yours does it say every, every uh, few hours, if that keeps coming loose, you need Loctite. Okay, so that's done. Now the only other thing I have to adjust is what do I want my lean on my bike to be? So right now that's a, that's a pretty heavy lean. Do I want it to be more straight up or more leaned over? I don't think I want mine that far leaned over. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get it close to tight and then I'll tighten it back up. So what's happening is, is this, this screw here 
probably for some people it might be a little loose right it just might not be tight and so theirs is leaning over and flopping off all the time um, in my case it doesn't do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my for me I'm just gonna put my feet up here because I got no other way to do it hold the bike where I want it pull this down and I like about that much lean that's good to me Yeah, I, I can tell you this is what's going on. This is this is coming loose on people, and it's it's going down. Now, if you have a long thing like me, you can probably get at it from the other side like this. Might be easier for you. But for me, that was good. I've got it tight. It's got a slight lean on it now, and that is fixed. So it's a pretty simple fix on these. These are adjustable. Uh, so I have broke this off before and, and lost it. So I do have a, one that one or two that aren't adjustable because I personally broke them off, but uh, not, not through any fault of the manufacturer. I think I broke them off in my garage, actually. Um, but this is a real easy fix, guys. All right, guys. That's it. Hey, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year coming up. All right, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for joining me.